No, I don't waste no time How you doing guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is joshua daniel george a social media marketer and online coach i have my own social media marketing agency here in the netherlands and i also have my own coaching business where i basically teach you guys on how to do the same so whether you are just starting out and you want to know how to start an agency or you actually have an existing agency and you want to know how to scale to the next level we do have coaching programs that can help you do exactly that anyway um this video is going to be fairly short i just want to you know have this video to the point it might not be as polished um as you guys may be used to you know uh, with this channel i just want to keep this a bit raw and um basically just explain some things that um i was thinking of you know whilst on a conversation that i had earlier today with um someone who was basically on the verge on enrolling into one of our higher level programs where we basically help you know agencies scale further and the question that he posed to me was what am i doing personally to scale my agency this year specifically which i thought was a quite uh, quite an interesting question it's not something that i often get asked you know obviously there's a plethora of content of my agency on my youtube channel um, and usually the way these calls are structured is we actually see, okay, you know, is this program a right fit for this particular individual? Um, but at the end of the call, you know, we know, we knew, okay, this, you know, is a right fit for this person. Uh, we were basically in the process of getting him on board into the new program. And uh, like I said, he asked me, you know, okay, so what are you actually doing for your agency this year to scale it to the next level? Um, and there were three things that I pointed out, which I thought would actually be quite valuable to share with you guys here on YouTube as well. And the first most important thing is that we are now basically trying to make more backend offers so that we earn more money on the back end um, rather than just expanding our clientele. So in all transparency, we now have 20 clients under our agency. And we're in a good spot, we're in a good place. You know, it's manageable. It, uh, the reason why it's manageable is because we do have a, we run a tight ship. You know, everything is set up in as lean a way as possible. You know, there's not much more we could subtract from our service, um, you know, without actually making our uh, fulfillment, you know, part of the service suffer. Um, and like I said, we've tried to subtract as many like unnecessary things as possible, which I will get into further in just a moment. Um, and by doing that, like I said, we've been able to easily manage 20 clients. What I mean by we, um, so I am the sort of head media buyer slash owner of the agency. And then Elliot, my head of operations, who is literally my eyes and ears, you know, he oversees the entire agency. Um, he is very much on the front end where he is basically the first line of defense you know anyone who is interested in working with us uh, elliot will vet that person see if this person is worth our time with you know spending um you know time and effort on on getting this person results etc um and by basically dividing the services or dividing our roles within the agency i should say uh, in this way you know we've actually been able to really increase um, the service that we can offer in terms of quality in terms of results and also streamline it as much as possible so that you're not um, you know, running this one man show, but we're also not like outsourcing it for cheap and cheerful, hoping and praying that we get these clients results because we know what we can do. We are the experts at what we do and we are the experts within our niche. We're getting good results and um, you know, obviously we have niche down. So what works for one client will work for the other client as well, to a certain extent, of course. And what works in one country, you know, will work in another country as well, again, to a certain extent. But it's basically, you know, 20 clients is manageable. However, moving forward, 2021, the way we have everything set up, we are on the verge of, you know, basically having that JK within the agency, everything is set up uh, to scale. However, you know, ra rather than now trying to take on more media buyers and scale the agency like that, uh, we thought, okay, why not just get more from our existing clients? and basically position ourselves within a way of, okay, if we make our clients more money, we make more money. So setting up back-end deals in addition to our own retainer. Quick example could be something like, okay, a flat fee of 2,000 pounds a month, 
and then a percentage of purchase conversion value minus the cost of goods sold. You know, for a quick example, you know, some of you might be able to negotiate 15%, some of you might only be able to negotiate 5%. For the larger businesses uh, with a large profit margin, maybe 5% is more than enough you know, to have a comfortable back end uh, cash flow, new revenue stream coming in and so on and so forth. But by but rather than thinking to ourselves, okay, if our retainer is 2K and we want to get up to a certain you know, monthly recurring revenue with our agency, we then need to get more clients. Rather than doing that, basically making us earn more money off the same existing clients. Because think to yourselves, okay, if you are, let's say your retainer is 1,000 a month and you want to go up to 30K, you'll then need to get 30 clients. And that's where things can get messy. However, if your uh, retainer is... 2000 a month so you know you've basically positioned yourself as an authority within the niche you're getting better results with these clients you've upped your retainer to 2000 a month and you also have that those back-end deals set in place you know maybe ROAS deals uh rev share deals etc you might only need 10 you know 8 to 10 clients to get up to that 30k a month uh, revenue within the agency and it's less stress less work more money and better results because you're more focused on the existing clients, okay? So that is basically um, step number one for us is to implement um, back-end deals, you know, basically make more money, more revenue per customer or more revenue per clients rather than just going out and trying to get in as many clients as possible. Then the second thing that I think has been a very, very important factor for those within the agency um, since Q2 of 2020 when we first started this is basically making clients acquisition more predictable. So for those of you that know, um, you know how our agency is structured or in one of our programs, etc., you guys know that I am running paid traffic for my agency. Um, what has basically changed since we've been able to run paid traffic is that 80% of our time that was previously spent on client acquisition, you know, the hybrid outreach system, cold email, and uh, basically making connections you know, within the industry, in the hopes that you can get a call sorted and that you might have a, a client at the back of it. Um, we now know, okay, we need to spend X amount to get X amount of calls. We know our conversion rate per call. We know uh, to qualify, you know, how to qualify these people within these calls, etc. So we know exactly how much we need to spend to get another client. And it's not only the fact that that has made it predictable for us to get clients, but more importantly, it's also made us uh, be able to qualify our clients further and make sure they are a right fit. Because now, when we do get on a call with a client and they say something or do something that is not entirely the way we work, so for example, they want daily calls, daily check-ins, they send us midday check-ins, you know, maybe they want a, um, more of a clarification of what we're doing, etc., or maybe they want to interfere in the creative process when we set up ads, etc., we can now say, listen, that is not how we work. If you are not happy with this, you know, then we are not a right fit for you. Um, no hard feelings, you know, there's a door, you know, see you later kind of thing. And this is not from a point of arrogance, but we know that if we do want to scale to the next level, if we do want to get up to that seven figure mark, we will need to be very, very strict with, like I said, we're on a tight ship and being very, very strict with the type of clients we take on. Because yes, you know, we are getting great results, but the reason why we are getting great results is because everything is streamlined and everything is basically the way we want it to be run. So if a client says, oh, listen, we don't use, um, you know, we don't use your method of communication, we only use Basecamp or Bootcamp or whatever it is that, you know, that they use nowadays, or we use daily calls for communication, etc. We can say, listen, that is not how we work, you know, um, as you can see from the clients that we've got and the results that we are getting, we are very good at what we do. But the reason why we are so good at what we do is because we, you know, we basically streamline everything in such a way that we can get those results. Um, one of our previous clients, we've actually now terminated the contract for this exact reason, emailed me on a Saturday evening in his defense. They are in a different time zone. So it was Saturday um, early afternoon for them. Uh, but this client uh, or ex-client, I should say, asked what my number was and I saw the email, I blanked it and then I got the same email an hour later, question mark, what is your number? So I replied to this client saying, listen, you know, I do not give my personal number away for the agency. Um, you know, we have our own methods of communication. So, you know, you do not need my number. You will not get my number. Um, if this is not something that you are happy with, then, you know, we can work on an exit strategy 
but you know this is basically the way we work and um, the client understood you know the client said okay that is fine understandable uh, we just need a way of communicating over the weekend so I said listen you know like I said we've got our set ways of communication um, the reason why he wanted to know how to communicate with us over the weekend was because he said in a case of emergency and I reply with there won't be an emergency because we are basically set up in such a way that you know we get results you know there isn't any heat of the moment kind of changes within you know the ad account etc we work based off of analytics based off of data and you know if the client is not happy with that then um, or the client wants like immediate changes etc that is something that we don't do because we have our own structures and systems uh, to get results for these clients then um, during that week we got a, on a call with this client and the client basically you know asked again what do we do we know how can we communicate quickly how can we get direct feedback from you guys you know we'd actually like to have uh, your personal number and again I said listen we are very good at what we do if I were to give all my clients my number and they could call me whenever they want you know that is basically time that is taken away from the time that I can spend getting results for these clients so by having direct access to me within you know basically having my personal number um, you're basically going to make your own results suffer because the more time I spend talking to you and explaining to you how I can get results the less time I can actually get the results, if that makes sense. So make sure you streamline the communication and then back to point number two, of course, um, make sure you have a predictable way of getting clients because if a client is not a right fit, if a client is just, you know, it's it, the friction or the client does not understand the way you work, you can say to the client, listen, this is not going to be a right fit. You know, we are doing more harm than good by working together, you know, uh, good luck in the future. And then, you, you know, you basically switch on the ads qualify another client, know exactly how much to spend to get on another client, and you can move forward from there with a client that is a much better fit because that is, you know, the new client will then be able to see um, how you work and will stick to that. So that is point number two. Point number one, of course, as I mentioned, is to basically increase the revenue per client. Point number two is have a predictable way of uh, client acquisition. And then the third most important thing that we are going to implement to scale our agency to the next level is to strip away everything that is unnecessary. So I've already touched on um, you know, the communication, I've already touched on like that we've really, really niched down within our, um, you know, basically, you know, with, for our clientele, within e-commerce, etc. cetera. Um, and we are basically now in the process of eradicating anything that is not allowing us to streamline. So everything from the onboarding to the communication to the calls, etc. Everything is set up with standard operating procedures and if a client is not willing to stick to those standard operating procedures, like I said, we will terminate the contract and find a client that will be able to stick to it and is willing to stick to it. And by basically removing all of the unnecessary processes, all of the unnecessary you know, um, regulations and rules and things that we need to look out for, uh, by eradicating all of that, we are basically have, we have more time to focus on the ad account, we have more time to focus on getting the client's results, and we've of course got more room to scale. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, like I said, there is a bit of a raw video. I'm not going to chop it up or edit it, anything like that. I just want to lash this up on YouTube, uh, just to give you guys a bit of a, you know, an insight into my thought process within the agency for next year, um, or for this year actually. It's already 2021. Anyway, um, like this video if you got something out of it. Comment down below where you're currently at with your agency and you know basically where you want to go to this year and how you're planning on getting into it. Uh, or getting to that next level. So speak life into your goals by uh, basically, you know, um, putting it out there in the world where you want to get to with your agency within, you know, like I said, this year. Now, if you want my personal help, wherever, you know, regardless of where you are with your agency, if you want my personal help, feel free to send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. Facebook is probably the, the, the easiest way to get in contact with me. Instagram, I'm no longer as active on as I once was. Um, and also feel free to check out my free Facebook group that has a free beginner course on how to get started within social media marketing. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video here for now. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.